What's up guys, Just Mercy here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got another episode of transfers. And we've got a few transfers to go through today that are confirmed as well as obviously the potential ones to get through after that, guys. So before we go any further, as always, if you can smash 1,000 fire likes, that would be absolutely awesome. If you're to my channel, click that subscribe button for more. And in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumors and uh, rumors I should do in the next episode. And there is only one video today because initially this was supposed to go out by about 8 a.m. But unfortunately, there wasn't enough rumors. So I had to wait the rest of the day and uh, obviously the things are now picked up and uh, luckily we can get one out for you guys so the very first one today is going to be a confirmed one that is going to be Naldo the 85 rated card on FIFA going to FC Schalke on a free it's a two-year contract as I think he's like 33 years old but again him on a free is a highly rated center back hasn't been as good this year as last year but neither have Wolfsburg as a team as a whole he's uh, obviously gonna be Joel Matic's replacement and you on FIFA 15 uh, FIFA 16 sorry you'll be able to make a defense of Felipe Santana Naldo and Joel Matic uh, being six at four six at five and six at six and all being so overpowered. And I call that the Great Wall of Schalke. So next up, we're gonna to go to the second one. That's gonna be Bobby Wood, a USA player that has now made this switch to Hamburg this time from Union Berlin, an undisclosed fee and a four year contract. I've never used one fee for ultimate team. I'm not sure whether he's a USA international, but he may well be, as I think I've probably heard that name somewhere before. Then we have got a, uh, a player that's not on FIFA currently. I've never watched him in real life, but apparently he's highly rated. And that is going to be a Bracalo, a Croatian guy from Dino Zagreb for seven million euros. He's joined Wolfsburg on a five-year contract and I'm, I think he's like 17 years old so he's very, very young and he's obviously not on FIFA. Uh, I've never watched any clips about it but for a decent fee of 7 million euros he must be uh, something a little bit special. Then finally we're going to go on to uh, Havard Nordweit, a Norwegian this time going to West Ham I believe on a free transfer. I think he used to play for Arsenal as a youth player then went to Borussia Mönchengladbach and now of course has gone back to the BPL this time with West Ham. There's also another one but he's not on FIFA that is going to be Yerdom who has joined Barnsley from Barnet on a two-year deal and I have no idea what he's like, so I haven't actually made a card from either. Also, two that are very close to being done, apparently Karius, the German goalkeeper, who's currently in the team of season right now in the Bundesliga, is uh, very close to joining Liverpool. And if that is confirmed at any point, I'll cover that in the future episodes. And also, Fernando Torres is uh, apparently close to signing a two-year contract extension at Atletico Madrid. And now we've got the potential transfers. And the very first one is involving this man and also two other players, which we'll get to in a moment. But Jack Wilshere and uh, linked to Manchester City, I think he has been done in the past as well, but obviously, Obviously, Pep Guardiola has taken them over and I may remember, I think it was a few years ago, probably about 2011, Pep Guardiola actually took quite a kind of a dig at Jack Wilshere, saying he's a good player, but in Spain they have so many, even in Barcelona's B team. Whether his opinion has changed or not, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and also, he would boost their homegrown numbers. Um, and next up, we have got a player that would reunite with Pep Guardiola, and that's Alexis Sanchez of Arsenal. So this is actually like a three-part deal where there's three players Pep wants to bring in. Sanchez, again, is one of them who's also linked to Juventus currently. And finally, we got Danny Rose, probably again, just like Jack Wilshere, boosting them homegrown numbers just a little bit. He has had a solid season for Spurs, and just like Jack Wilshere, has made it into the England preliminary team for Euro 2016. Uh, no fees being mentioned at all for eight, all three of these, uh, just apparently Pep wants to bring all of them in. Then we go on to the next rumour. That's going to be Ashley Williams, according to the Daily Express, uh, apparently linked to Arsenal. And this says that Arsenal could bid up to £20 million for Swansea's veteran defender, Ashley Williams. And uh, that seems like quite a big feat, to be honest. I'm not sure how long his contract's left or anything like that, but that's seriously 20 mil. He could get so much better uh, from another league or something like that. So he's captain material kind of thing because he is currently captain for Swansea. But £20 million for a defender like him uh, could be better spell, uh, spent elsewhere. Next up, we've got Romelu Lukaku today linked to Paris Saint-Germain. And this is according to Sky Sports. Sports gossip column then. So it says that Everton striker Romelu Lukaku is a target for Paris Saint-Germain and this could be down to the fact that Ibrahimovic is going and they need to replace him. And this also links into a deal which we'll get to in a moment. So then we go on to uh, Christian Benteke. Yesterday I covered that apparently he wants to stay at Liverpool uh, but today according to NBC he uh, will be going. And that's because they're saying that Liverpool's Belgian striker Benteke will not be at Anfield next season according to Derby County player Dean Sturridge the uncle of Reds forward Daniel Sturridge. So uh, obviously just the player's opinion um, it's nothing of fish or anything like that. So that one right there could potentially. Uh, I, I don't know. I. I don't, I don't want Benteke to stay because I think he's had the one season. That's not really fair to judge him on that. He has under service. He's been on the bench a lot, but he's he's not going to fit in our style of play. Um, just the fact that he doesn't suit that. He's, he's a big man. He can be good with his feet, just he's not uh, technical enough. And he doesn't press like Jürgen Klopp wants to. And now the Sunday Express are saying that Frank Lampard and Gus Hiddink could join John Terry back at Chelsea next season. So it's likely that John Terry will be staying um, after, I think, apparently agreeing to sign that contract. And uh, according to this, Frank Lampard could be following him as well as Gus Hiddink. I'm not sure it is like a manager of backroom staff. I have no idea. 
but that looks like it could happen. And now we've got Ibra yet again, and this time uh, we've gone to B in Sports. The main eye target Ibra says he already knows where he'll be playing next season, so it's already agreed. Obviously, no club has mentioned it or anything. Everyone's probably interested in him, uh, but as of right now, he knows where he's going, but he's not saying it to anyone. I imagine they will find out probably in the next couple of weeks, maybe, or potentially have to wait until after the Euro uh, Championships next month. Now we go on to Radmel Falcao, and apparently he is staying and returning back to AS Monaco. After two horrific seasons in England for Manchester United and Chelsea, it looks like he may return back to his parent club after being loaned out twice. So they paid a massive fee for him. He'd done all right in his first season, just he got a really, really bad injury, but he's nothing like the striker he was back in like 2013. He's also linked to Besiktas, but I think it could be likely he may spend a season at Monaco just to try and like uh, kind of refine himself, I think the word is, kind of find his form again, which he definitely has been lacking. And next up, we have got Antoine Griezmann today, apparently staying at Atletico Madrid. So 4 4 2 us in the Atletico Madrid are in contract negotiations with their France forward Antoine Griezmann. A 25 year old insists he would decline transfer talks with rounded manager Zinedine Zidane just to stay there. Yes, he was linked to Paris Saint Germain, but apparently he is very, very loyal and willing to stay at Atletico. Now we move on to Victor Wanyama today, linked to West Ham. Apparently they've inquired about him. And that's literally all this article says by Daily Star. It says they've inquired about him and they want to get him in their midfield for next season. Then we go on to Callum Wilson today of Bournemouth today, linked to uh, both Liverpool and Tottenham, who are apparently going to fire out from this summer. And that's according to the Express. I kind of find this one very unlikely because uh, obviously we may sell Benteke, but I think we'll replace him with a higher caliber player than Callum Wilson. Uh, no disrespect to him, he's a very good player, but I think uh, he'd probably be in the same category as Danny Ings as like a fourth choice or a third choice striker. And he won't want that. He's currently the main choice currently at Bournemouth. Then we've got DeAndre Yedlin. Apparently, uh, Sunderland want to make his move a permanent. And to do so, according to Sunday people, they will offer Tottenham £2 million to make the 22-year-old defender uh, his own permanent move. And he's done all right with them, to be fair. He's, uh, he's kind of bought off the hype of the World Cup a few years ago. But seriously, um, he's done okay at Sunderland and helped keep them up this season. And now moving on, we have got Jason Maria today linked to Leicester City. And the Sunday Mirror's article says that Claudio Ranieri's Leicester scouts have been running the rule over Inter Milan defender Jason Maria. So the, uh, the, I think Colombian has been doing all right for Inter Milan this season, I believe, and there are other clubs that are currently interested in his signature, but still be a nice one for Fee Frog to the team. Then we have got Peter Zielinski. I've not like seen anything of this guy apart from a few videos. Uh, he plays for Empoli on loan from Udinese, I believe, and is very close apparently to joining Liverpool. And we could find this out as soon as Wednesday. So what I've got written here um, is that apparently they actually I've seen this as well, and they like I think it's called Canal Plus. I'm not sure what country that's broadcasting, possibly it's like France or somewhere. Um, but he's actually wearing a Liverpool shirt and it's got his name on the back as well. So it's not very subtle but it says the Reds are understood to be interested in the midfielder and I've known about the interest for a long time. I mean this has been a rumour for about probably two months or so now and uh, want to wrap his signature up by Wednesday. I imagine he'll come in as a backup and uh, probably replace Joe Allen which uh, may annoy some fans because Joe Allen is coming uh, like a bit of a fan favourite right now. He's doing well for us but Joe Allen it looks like he could be moving on potentially back to Swansea. The shirt this guy was wearing by the way had uh, Zielinski number 10 on the back but apparently that's just because the journalist gave it to him. It's not because Coutinho is leaving or changing number or anything like that. So Wednesday, uh, apparently keep your eyes out for this one for around £9 million. Then we have got Sado Berahino today linked to Everton. And this is what I was talking about earlier regarding to Romelu Lukaku. So they're saying that Everton will try to complete the deal for the West Brom striker uh, Sadio Berahino if Lukaku decides to leave Goodison Park in the summer. And West Brom are kind of probably annoyed with themselves because they were offered, I think, 25 mil last summer by Tottenham for this man's services. So 10 mil loss in just one year. And finally, we've got Anton uh, Antonio Rudiger today, uh, a player of really like a FIFA ultra team currently at Roma on loan from uh, Stuttgart linked to Chelsea and this article says that Chelsea have had their host boosted of signing Rudiger from Stuttgart so uh, apparently the fee there's nothing mentioned whatsoever but they do face competition from Liverpool and Arsenal apparently who have been looking to improve their defence over the summer so Correa Dello Sport and the Italian club Roma have decided not to make the 23 year olds uh, move permanent to them so they're freeing up the space for the likes of Chelsea to negotiate with them and that covers all of today's transfers guys so if you enjoyed this video smash the like button 1000 as far as likes be absolutely awesome if you'd my channel class subscribe for more and in the comments below let me your thoughts on today's rumors and that rumors i shoot in the next episode guys so thank you for this video and i'll see you next time